Peter, your book is Tell to Win. Could you just explain why are stories so important to our lives? Well, first of all, we're wired for stories. Everything we do, feel, and act is a story. Our mission in life is to feel alive, and stories tell us and tell other people about our aliveness. So stories are a power tool, a power vehicle for getting other people to act on our cause, to vote for us, to buy our products, to do whatever we want, whatever success is for you. How can we use stories to help us get ahead in business or to make good connections with people? Well, we're really what you're thinking about is that most people have the information. The information is really democratized, the internet and every other way you can get all the information, all the data, all the facts, all the analytics. But how you put them together, how you move them across the table, how you move them across the room, how you empower them so that other people can own them, story is the process. Story is the Trojan horse for it. And the secret sauce to move somebody is taking those facts and analytics and embedding them in the story and moving their heart. This is where you're aiming for when you aim with stories. It's your wallet you're aiming for when you aim with the facts, numbers, and details and analytics. And truthfully, this is where hits are born and this is where flops are born. So the idea is stories are a power tool to move people to action. So your history in the movie business, how have your stories helped sell these movies? That's the correct question. I must say questions are really important. <laughs> how, they, how have telling purposeful stories helped move movies? Mm -hmm. Well, what it is is you're in the emotional transportation business when you're in the movie business. You're in the emotional transportation. You want to move people emotionally. You know, hits are born here. Flops are born here. So the idea is you've got to aim here. So when you tell somebody, I'd like you to finance my movie. I'd like you to market my movie. I'd like you to star in my movie. I'd like you to direct the movie. I'd like you to advertise, market, whatever it is, my movie. You have to really make your offering aimed in the same way. You have to find the words of mouth that you can put in their mouth about your experience in this movie, not just what it's about, but how you hold it and why it's powerful. And then you have to surrender it. So what you do generally is you talk about why you are passionate about the film, why you believe it, that film, and you use the story to sell the story, which is really irony. <laughs> so the idea is that if you, can't t if you can't tell it, you can't sell it. If you can't tell it that in that room, then you know that the person doesn't have a real bead on what the core elements of that project or that product is. But that's true about everything. It's true about families. It's true about kids. It's true about businesses, charities, political. You just look at the, the people that make mistakes selling the story. Look at Dukakis. His story was health care, family. He gets in a tank and puts on a hat. <laughs> Told a story that was not congruent with who he was. So the idea is stories are very important. They live in the weeds of your mind for a long time. And facts can't kick them out. Facts can't, can't expel them. Only other stories can expel them.